All right, welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, and it's bright, it's early, and we're going to get deep and dirty into these charts, talk about Bitcoin and the trade setup that we have in our Discord, which is coming to fruition at the moment as we we settle upon the 15 minute trend line and we're coming into the green box of uh, peace and prosperity and death and despair. That is the box where we want to hold. However, our stop loss is right below this prior wick low. I would not be surprised to see if they drag it down a little bit further all the way down and touch this area and then send it up. But that's all i got for bitcoin as they are being deep and dirty and they're dragging people into this trend line here we're 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 in the box we're we're touching the box we are cresting upon the box we are hovering upon the box yes we are so we'll take a look at some of the altcoins and some of the fomo that is taking place in Bitcoin land as yes, things are getting heated up. And I do believe that if Bitcoin forms a higher low upon this last major low, that well, we might see some moonshot targets. So we'll take a look at that. And Pepe, Pepe, Pepe and his friends. That is my, uh, that is my gearbox right now as we have a bit of an M formation and we are likely to touch down to this uh, this trend line as we are reversing it to the upside. So after the M formation, as long as we can make a higher low upon this low. Well, uh, Pepe and his friends likely to take it to the upside in a rather diabolic fashion. So be on the watch out for Pepe and his friends. AGIX, well, she's getting slammed back down, slammed back down. The AI, the AI I think the AI run has, you know, maybe crested its low you know maybe um maybe the ai thing is over because people realize all this ai crap is just a bunch of crap <clears throat> weak bounce up to the 382 so that's what i have to say about a i x let's take a look at render everything everything's looking bearish at the moment so i think it's time to take a look upon our four hour time frame as we are probably targeting that 200 exponential moving average d g i so who is you know who is uh who's bullish on the uh gaming narrative well dgi if you are bullish is coming into a buy zone and as long as we hold this prior wick low i'd stay bullish on this one let's take a look at some of the others that are coming into a buy zone so whiff getting whiffed out of its uh bullish candle here on the daily time frame and remember, Bitcoin is the ruler of the market, right? Bitcoin is the ruler of the market. And I would drag this down a slight bit uh, beneath the prior wick low and say, okay, as long as we're above there, then, uh, well, we have a chance to bounce. We still have a chance to bounce with that bullish engulfing candle. So after a big green day, and yes, Mr. Powell came out, he was a little bit uh, dovish yesterday. He was on the dove side saying that, uh, well, perhaps they will lower rates one more time this year or a couple times this year. I think that's what the CME rate tool has priced in is a couple more uh, rate, at least two and a half more rate cuts this year. 
let's take a look at AVAX, our trade for AVAX. Well, it is down at the moment and I'd be looking for support along that green 55 as long as we hold that, you know, upwards and onwards for the higher term time frames. And we got a nice TP1 and a TP2 right there as uh, AVAX is the catch-up trade against Solana and Pepe. So holding back into Pepe and on the 15 minute time frame, she's getting boo caked right now. And I'm looking for Pepe to come down and test this trend line as long as we don't take out that prior wick low right around this area. I'm gonna remain bullish on Pepe and his friends. Who knows who? Who knows who Pepe is friends with? Well, I have a few friends that know who Pepe is friends with, so we'll we'll take a look at those as well. We got Matic. Matic is uh, printing a nice 15-minute cancel to the downside. And Matic, as long as we hold these lows back here, then I'm going to remain bullish on this one. And the next bit of selling pressure is going to be way up here. So, so Matic's looking bullish. Super, super is one of the gaming tokens that I am rather bullish on as well. And after breaking the 200, you would expect a test of the 200 and a bounce from this level let's see if we come back and you know target the last major vector candle somewhere around that zone that what i that's what i would consider a major buying opportunity for mr super superverse so we got the 382 coming in here right around the purple 200 so looking good for a bit of a bounce there and the 618 is at 115 all right when showing some strength here getting a nice bounce off the purple 200 so i would expect some trend continuation and that's why i'm bullish on the meme sector as a whole cast up 10 percent in the light of a major um well rally yesterday Mr. Casper, Casper the Friendly Ghost. I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses, and I'm bringing you this video because I'm gonna give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto, but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack stats using technical analysis. It's the crypto trader's dream to starting your crypto journey. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. And as long as we close a nice green candle like that, I would expect uh, further continuation on that one. Neutron is looking rather weak, closing below this wick. So maybe one more test down. Neutron I do like for a test down here and then a test of this trend line because we never really tested, really tested that one. Solana, as you can see, getting a bit of a backfill at the moment and looks like it does want to test down a little bit further. Or is that the, <clears throat> we broke the 382 to the downside with some volume here. A nice red candle printed on the last 15 minute chart. So could we get one more test down? Yes, but as long as we don't take out the prior wick low, then hey, 
Party on to the upside. Major buying opportunities coming in for Solana as well. <clears throat> we covered stacks. Stacks looking bullish. Sui, Sui is looking bullish as well. And the stock market is coming down at the very least to fill some vector candles. Maybe down to the purple 200 on that 15 minute time frame. At the very least, uh, looking for a NASDAQ price of 18420 Ton, Mr. Telegram's token, holding the uptrend. And I would say Ton is going to be relatively bullish over time. Any kind of a test of this trend line, uh, likely a buying opportunity. What else do we have on our list? Maddox, Super, When, Cass. Cass is looking relatively bullish on the shorter term time frames. A bit of an M formation. Maybe we test down a little bit lower, but overall, because Powell was rather dovish yesterday, I would say the uh, crypto market in general does play out. Oh, nice, nice test of the reclaim or test of the trend line for Mr. Bitcoin, as long as we hold that trend line, then well, uh, things are good and onwards and upwards. Again, above 61.875 on Bitcoin, I expect the general crypto market to continue to the upside. So that is it for today, guys. I hope you do like and subscribe and join our Discord community. Have a blessed and highly favored day. Take care.